Welcome to this video of Daily Current Affairs. Today is the 1st of March 2019, a new month, a new date. Let's begin and this is episode 222, okay? If you have not subscribed to our channel Spinnacle and Frontier IS, then please do subscribe. Hit on the subscribe button, hit on the bell icon to subscribe to the channel. Apart from the current affairs video, plenty of educational videos preparing you for government exams are uploaded on our channels almost every day. Let's begin with yesterday's question. Quiz. Here is the yesterday's quiz. Which of the following Indian has joined Amazon's board of directors? Answer Indira Nui. And recently, which state government declared monkeys as vermin? Answer is Himachal Pradesh. The first question for today. Recently, Miss Mirti Irani inaugurated the Tinwala Museum, which will showcase the artists of traditional hand block printing of which community of Rajasthan? This is the first question. Answer here is going to be Chipa community. Okay, that's the answer. Question number one. My answer will be C. This initiative of setting up the museum was taken up by Suraj Narayan Tinwala. Okay, that's why this name Tinwala. It's an effort to Towards preserving the art of traditional bagaru block painting. You could even be given a question as to which block paintings do they do? They do bagaru block painting. This museum, it will exhibit traditional tools, materials which are used in block making, historical wood blocks, raw material for dyes and many other things. Now, which are the important tribes of Rajasthan? They are Bheels, Damaria, Minas, Patelia, etc. So, that's question number one. Let me show you a picture related to this. See here, you can see Smriti Irani and here you can see their tools etc. Okay for block printing. Now an important announcement our limited time offer is going on in which we are offering a discount and specially designed courses for various uh, subjects. Here you can see these are the courses for SSC, CGL, 3 rupees yojana for English, 3 rupees yojana for maths etc. And here are the details of the courses for HCS and UPSC. For more details you can call up these numbers or you can send a WhatsApp on this number. You can call up from 9 in the morning till 5 in the evening from Monday to Saturday. Okay. Now let's move on to the next question. On This is question number 2. What is the weight of world's largest and heaviest Bhagavad Gita which was recently inaugurated by the Prime Minister at Delhi's Iskion Temple. This is question number two. Okay, what is going to be the answer for this? What is the weight of this largest Bhagavad Gita? The largest and heaviest, rather. Answer here is going to be 800 kgs. That's the answer. Question number two. Answer is C. The book measures 2.8 by 2 meters. Okay, 2.8 by 2 meters. This is what is the measurement of the book. It weighs around 800 kg and it contains 600. 70 pages and as the original verses of Bhagavad Gita okay and where is it? Uh, it is all the world's largest sacred book and it has been prepared by Ischion devotees. Okay. The book has been printed in Milan, Italy. And according to Ischion, this book will have the largest principal sacred text ever to be printed. Okay. Let me show you the picture. Now here you can see the picture of our prime minister with the book. Okay. Let me also give you some information about the about Iskion. Iskion is International Society for Krishna Consciousness. It's a worldwide confederation of about 400 temples and it runs over 100 vegetarian restaurants and a wide variety of community serving projects. Okay. So, this is the book as you can see it in the picture. Let me also do some revision questions with you which I have recently covered in my videos. Recently, India's first national war memorial that was also dedicated to the nation that's located in Delhi and Waste to Wonder Park was also recently inaugurated in Delhi. Let's move on to the next question. Which state government has launched the Pranam Commission to protect parents, okay, to protect parents of government employees? This is question number three. Question number three, my answer here is going to be Assam. Assam is the right answer. Assam has started this Pranam Commission. Assam Chief Minister 
Sarbanand Sonwal, he launched the parents' responsibility. Now, what is the full form of pranam? P R A N A M. I'm telling you that. Okay. The full form of pranam is parents' responsibility and norms for accountability and monitoring. This commission is there for protection of parents of state government employees at Guwahati. According to the bill, if the pranam commission gets a complaint that parents of a state government employee they are being ignored, then 10 to 15 percent of the employee employee salary will be deducted by the government and paid to parents or differently abled siblings and this is the first of its kind bill in india it would benefit approximately around 8 lakh parents of 4 lakh state government employees and it was approved by the state cabinet in the year 2018 okay private company employees and central government employees in assam would also be covered by the bill but then that would be done at a later stage let me show you a picture related to this see here you can see the picture and now let me show you where exactly is assam this is the state of assam located in the northeast i have often given you this information about assam here are some wildlife sanctuaries of assam and here are the national parks let me cover the national parks with you Kaziranga National Park, Manas National Park, Rajiv Gandhi National Park, Oranga National Park, Dibru National Park, Ramnameri National Park and Chakra Shila Wildlife Sanctuary are all located in Assam. Next question, Bio Asia 2019, which is Asia's largest life science and healthcare forum. It was recently held in which city? This is question number four. Where was it recently held? Okay, that is the question. So for question number four, my answer here is going to be Hyderabad. Hyderabad is going to be the right answer. Question number four, answer will be B. From the 25th to 27th of February 2019, it was the 16th edition of Bio Asia 2019. 2019. It is Asia's largest biotechnology and life sciences forum. It was conducted in Hyderabad in Telangana. Okay. The theme of the conference was Life Sciences 4.0 Disrupt the Disruption. And what is this exactly? BioAsia. It's an annual event. It is organized by government of Telangana and it's largely focuses on reimagining re healthcare after technological disruptions. Okay. So let me show you a picture related to this. Very clearly you can see on this picture the dates when it was held that is given. The venue where it was held that is given. And here disrupt the disruption. Next question. We are on question number 5 now. Recently Nigeria has got a new president okay who has been elected as the new president of nigeria this is our question question number five answer here is going to be muhammad buhari question number five answer will be b muhammad buhari muhammad buhari he got his second term as nigeria's president he uh, muhammad buhari he is a member of the all progressive congress apc he was uh, he has defeated atiku abu bakar with more than three million votes in the election to become the president of Africa's most populous country. Okay, remember what is Africa's most populous country? It is Nigeria, and he has become the president for the second time. Now, let me show you where exactly. Okay, first, okay, first, let me show you a picture of the new president. Here is the new president. Now, if you look at the map of Africa, this is the country of Nigeria. Here you can see this is Nigeria. Okay, so it's a coastal country. This is Nigeria. Capital is Abuja. Here you can see the capital. Largest city here is Lagos. Official language is English and currency here is Naira. Naira is the currency. Prime Minister here is Sir Abu Bakar Twafa Baleva. And this gentleman which I just showed you he is the new president next question which country has scored highest ever T20 international score this is our question number 6 ok question number 6 now which country has scored the highest ever T20 international score and the answer for this question is going to be Afghanistan question number 6 answer will be Afghanistan now Afghanistan has made 278 runs in a T20 match, okay. 278 for the loss of three wickets from their allotted 20 overs. This is the highest ever total in T20 and 
एट द राजीव गांधी इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट स्टेडियम इन देहरादून उत्तराखंड ओके एंड हुम वर दे प्लेइंग अगेंस्ट दे वर प्लेइंग अगेंस्ट आयरलैंड ओके यू कैन आल्सो बी आस्क्ड एज टू हुम वर दे प्लेइंग अगेंस्ट दे वर प्लेइंग अगेंस्ट आयरलैंड ओके दे हैव इवन टॉपल्ड ऑस्ट्रेलियाज रिकॉर्ड स्कोर ऑफ 263 फॉर 3 व्हिच वाज अचीव्ड बैक इन 216 अगेंस्ट श्रीलंका ओके सो दैट्स द इंफॉर्मेशन रिसेंटली आई हैव कवर्ड क्वाइट अ फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विद यू अबाउट अफगानिस्तान ओके नाउ लेट मी इवन गिव यू सम मोर इंफॉर्मेशन about afghanistan and some additional information about cricket first additional information about cricket the former captain of sri lanka sanath juya surya he has been banned from all cricket for 2 years after he admitted that he had breached two counts of the icc anti corruption code okay first point secondly now let me revise with you about afghanistan about afghanistan i had recently told you that they have begun a trading with india by passing pakistan they will not come through pakistan and they are going to use the chabahar port the chabahar port is going to be used and this chabahar port it was constructed by the help of india i also told you in my recent videos that a cricketer from afghanistan rashid khan he has taken four wickets in four balls against ireland in t20 match okay so that's the information now let us see where exactly is afghanistan with reference to india If you take a look in the western side of India, this orange color country, this is Afghanistan. Okay, what is the capital? Capital is Kabul. Largest city is also Kabul. Here you can see. Okay, largest city is also Kabul. The president here is Ashraf Ghani. Official currency is Dari and pa uh, official language are Dari and Pashto, and currency is Afghani. So that's the information about Afghanistan. Next question: National Science Day 2019. It was observed across an India on which date question number 7 this is my question and the answer for this is going to be 28th of february 28th of february will be my answer my answer will be b national science date was observed on 28th of february why this particular date because it is on this date it to mark the discovery of raman effect which is a phenomena of scattering of photons by the indian physicist shri chandrashekhara venkata raman on february the 20 Eighth, this year celebrations of the day they were organized by Department of Science and Technology. And what was the theme? The theme was the science for the people and the people for science. Okay. Now C V Raman. This was the first Nobel Prize won by Indian or any Asian in the field of science because C V Raman had also got the. Nobel Prize. Okay, that's the information about him. He has also got the Bharat Ratna. Now let me show a picture related to this. Here you can see the Raman effect. C V Raman. This is the time period. Okay, this is the time period for which he lived. He discovered the phenomenon called Raman scattering in 1928. The groundbreaking work in the field of light scattering earned him the Nobel Prize. In which year did he get? He got it in 1930. He is also honored with Bharat Ratna in the year 1954. And India celebrates National Science. Day on 28th February every year to commemorate the discovery of Raman effect in the year 1928. Let's move on to the next question. What is the theme of Aviation Conclave 2019 in New Delhi? This is question number eight. For question number eight, my answer here is going to be Flying for All. Flying for All. This is the theme. Question number eight. Answer will be B. Ministry of Civil Aviation in association with Airports Authority of India. okay it is organizing the aviation conclave 2019 in new delhi the theme of this is going to be flying for all this conclave is about the future of indian aviation it is bringing together industry leaders government regulators for setting the tone and propelling india's vision 2040 so that's question number 8 let's take a look at a picture related to this here is the picture next Sampriti 2019 this is a joint military exercise of india with which other country this is question number 9 okay for question number 9 my answer here is going to be it is a joint military exercise with bangladesh answer here is going to be b 9 answer will be b bangladesh that's my answer 9 will be b as part of the ongoing india bangladesh defense cooperation a joint military exercise called sampriti 2019 it will be conducted at tangel bangladesh from 2nd march to 15th of march 2019 okay now let me show you 
a picture related to this here is my picture and here in this map you can see where exactly is bangladesh if you take a look this side okay this portion okay you can say bangladesh is kind of enclosed within india although it has a coastal border this side if you look towards the eastern side the northeastern side you are going to find the country bangladesh this is bangladesh here you can see this is the capital the capital is dhaka it's the capital is the largest city and bengali bengali is their national language it's a unitary parliamentary republic abdul hamid is the president prime minister is sheikh hasina and taka is the currency over here let's move on to the next question next question is who acquired first position in the national level competition at the national youth parliament festival this is question number 10 answer for question number 10 here is going to be it is shweta shweta umre she has got the first position answer will be c national youth parliament festival 2019 awards they were given by the prime minister in new delhi and the participants are in the age group 18 years to 25 years who participated in the district state and national level youth parliaments there were around 56 contestants at the event in the national level and the first position went to shweta umre who belongs to the state of maharashtra second position went to anjanakshi who is from karnataka this person this is second anjanakshi was second and mamta kumari from bihar she was on the third position let me show you a picture related to this here you can see the picture all the 10 questions are over so now let me let bring you to the uh, important summary keywords tintinwala museum associated to the chipka tribe started in rajasthan delhi's iskon temple now it has an 800 kg bhagavad gita the largest in the world the heaviest in the world pranam commission has been started in assam bio asia 2019 asia's largest life sciences it was held in hyderabad new president of nigeria is mohammadu buhari T20 international score which country has scored the highest score in T20 international answer here is going to be Afghanistan okay Afghanistan will be my answer National Science Day 2019 observed on 28th of February aviation conclave 2019 flying for all was the theme sampriti 2019 it's a military exercise between India and Bangladesh National Youth Parliament Festival Shweta Umre got the first prize in it now let me take you to quiz for the day the quiz for the day asks you who acquired first position in the national level competition at the national youth parliament festival 2019 i want the answer from you sampriti 2019 it is a joint military exercise of india with which other country so answer these two questions for me if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel okay plenty of videos are uploaded throughout the day subscribe to the channel hit on the like button and yes do share a word about us with your friends who are preparing for competitive exams okay so that's all for today i wish you all the best thank you so much for watching bye bye